This is the homework for Lesson 12, Grade 3, Module 4. Please write your name first. A square calendar has sides that are 9 inches long. What is the calendar's area? All right, so I'm just going to draw a square. Nine inches. Nine inches. All square sides are equal. So the area is nine times nine, which is 81 square inches. Each square is one square unit. Sienna uses the same square units to draw a 6 by 2 rectangle and says that it has the same area as this rectangle below. Is she correct? Explain why or why not. So her 6 by 2 rectangle so I'm just going to draw Sienna's rectangle and label it. It looks like a square, I know, but I'm going to label it 6 by 2 units. Ugh. Let me fix that. Units. So this is 12, this one is 4 units by 3 units. So this one is 4 times 3 equals 12 square units. CNA is correct. Now all these lab this labeled pictures and these multiplication equations, those are my explanation. But I'm just going to finish my sentence with the details at 6 times 2 equals 4 times 3. And I could write equals 12 also. They both equal 12. I could do that too. The surface of an office desk has an area of 15 square feet. Its length is 5. How wide is the office desk? So this is one of those puzzles where we have a rectangle. We'll think of it as a rectangular office desk. Most of them are. That uh, We know the area is 15 square feet. And length is 5 feet. How wide is the desk? It's a question mark. 5 times 3 equals 15. Or you could think of it as, really it's a division question. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. That's what we're looking for. The 3 is what we were looking for there. The desk is three feet wide. That's a big desk. A rectangular garden has a total area of 48 square yards. Draw and label two possible rectangular gardens with different side lengths that have the same area. So I'm just going to draw two. 48 square yards. And here's another one.
So we need different factor pairs for 48. Um, 48 might be, be familiar to you. It's 6 times 8. So that's in yards. And I'll write 6 times 8 equals 48. And then here's how we could find another one. Think about it this way. If you're kind of like a visual puzzle person, you could think of what if I cut this rectangle like that? And then I would have 3 and 3, and I put those pieces together. So if I took this one here and I cut it out and moved it to make a long skinny one, then it would be 3, right, let me just redraw it. Then we would have, right, we'd have a 3 by 8. And it would be end to end, like two pieces of tape. Three by eight, like that. And we would have these two eights put together would make a 16. So it would be three by 16. Uh, so that there's two possible ones. So that would be 3 times 16 equals 48. And I think we just did that one in the last, the previous homework assignment. We had 3 times 16. Is the, well, at least that was the one that I used for a similar problem. And there are many others. There's a lot of ways to make 48. So these aren't the only two factor pairs for 48. There's a lot of different ones you can have. You could have 1 times 48. That's another one. That would work too. That's the, probably the easiest one to do. Uh, Lila makes the pattern below. Find and explain her pattern. Then draw the fifth figure in her pattern. So this is one row of two. This is two rows. Of two this is three rows of two so the fourth one is gonna be four rows of two and the fifth figure right this is one two three that's figure four the fifth figure is going to be five rows of two. And I have to explain her pattern. So I kind of have with these labels here, but I'm going to write out a sentence for it anyway. And label this as figure five. So I just want to describe the pattern. Lila adds a row of two four each new figure.